Hey dolls! Alright, so I didn't like face to face vlog my trip for my birthday, so I am gonna kind of tell you guys what happened and then overlay some clips that I did take. So sit down, get comfy, it's story time! Alright, so, as you guys saw in my birthday vlog part one, I hung out with my sister and my nieces and stuff at home, and I opened gifts and everything there, and on the 7th, 8th, 9th, and then coming home the 10th, I went out of town with my fiance. We went to a place called Leavenworth, Washington. It is about three hours from where we live and they are known for doing a beautiful Christmas light festival during the holiday season. I used to go with my family to Wenatchee. Uh, Wenatchee is about 20 miles, 20 minutes away from Leavenworth, and I used to go with my family to Wenatchee to do like family reunions and stuff during the summer years ago, and every now and then we would pop into Leavenworth and do some shopping and things like that. So I decided that I've only ever been in the summer, so I want to experience it during the winter during the beautiful Christmas lights and all that stuff. What better time to go than my birthday? So Alan and I decided to go. My sister kind of hung out here a bit and took care of my mom while I was gone in case you were curious about that. She did kind of help her out while I was gone and everything. Um, my plan for the Leavenworth trip and the Airbnb and everything had already been paid for prior to scheduling my mom's surgeries. That's why we got her first knee surgery done when we did so that she would be okay for me to leave for a few days after she had gone through a couple weeks of the healing process. Uh, Alan and I left on Friday, which was December 7th, my birthday and we got an Airbnb in Wenatchee, and it was so cute, so adorable. I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys have not heard of Airbnb before, it is basically a, an app that you can download, and I think if you use my link, my sign-up link or my sign-up code or something, I'll leave it in the description box below, but if you use my link or sign-up code, you can probably get some money towards your first trip. Um, or your first stay. Uh, this is the third time that I've used Airbnb and I absolutely love it. Uh, with Leavenworth especially, the hotels fill up super fast during the holiday season, so it's dang near impossible to get a room in Leavenworth itself and Wenatchee as well. Their hotels fill up so quick. Uh, Leavenworth experiences over 2 million tourists every winter is what I've heard and traffic gets backed up like crazy and it's super hard to find rooms and they jack the prices up so high but we found a beautiful place located in Wenatchee and it was so easy to get to, so adorable and we had our own little guest house. So it wasn't just like a room attached onto a house or the basement in someone's house. With Airbnb, you can actually select whether you want just a single room, if you want a shared kitchen or a personal kitchen, private bathroom, the works. You can basically search for anything in the area that you're going to be traveling to. I've also stayed in an Airbnb when I went with my mom to Seattle. But anyway, this Airbnb was so cute. It was so quaint and small, but so homey and welcoming. And it was lit up for the Christmas season with a little Christmas tree in the corner. And there were snacks provided in the cupboards. We had a full equipped kitchen. So if we wanted to cook breakfast, we could. Um, it was really, really cute and really sweet, and I loved the place that we chose because it was very easy to get to, and it was so clean, and just overall, it was really, really, really nice. So if you guys wanna check out Airbnb, I'll leave my link down below. Anyway, so we went there, and we checked into our Airbnb, and then we decided to head up to Leavenworth. Okay, here you go, sir. Open your mouth. We're gonna play a game. Try and catch you, right? Oh gosh. Okay, you're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna 
good. Here again, like sack, only veggies. <laughs> no wine, only veggies. <laughs> Way baby more sexy. There you go, I'm gonna get my hair. First off, first thing you're gonna fly. One, two, three, three, go, buddy. Oh! oh. oh. One, two, three, 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 go, buddy. Yeah! There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh -oh. Birthday girl, your turn. Oh gosh. Here we go. All right, here you go. Woo! Here we go, get to go! Oh! One, two, three, three, go! wanted to look at the lights on my birthday so we went into town at nighttime we got in there about six o'clock at night and there was no snow on the ground we had originally intended to go because it was going to be snowy and I have always wanted to go on a sleigh ride like a legitimate sleigh ride like horse-drawn sleigh with snow on the ground and just you know magical and so I really wanted to do that, but unfortunately, long story short, that didn't end up happening because it's by reservation only and it gets packed and we didn't make the reservation soon enough and yeah. So anyway, the first night there was absolutely no snow on the ground, so we kind of got to walk around Leavenworth and experience it. Leavenworth is a Bavarian themed village a lot of people were commenting on my post saying oh my gosh it looks like you're in a little village it looks like you're in germany it looks like you're in a different country it's because it is themed that way so it gives you that feel it gives you that look they have tons of different german restaurants and meals and foods and it's just really really cool instruments people were doing live music playing instruments and it was it was a pretty cool experience it was very packed during the lighting ceremony so I'm glad that we waited to go to the actual ceremony until our last night there so Friday we went and we saw the lights just at night lit up at night we went and looked in the shops and checked out the shops I do have a story about one of the shops that I will be sharing in my what I got for my birthday haul video that will be coming up soon um, it's a very personal touching thing for me so that little story will be included in that haul 
then on saturday we basically just explored wenatchee and we just pretty much drove around we didn't really get out of the airbnb and up and moving until like one or two in the afternoon so we were kind of being a little lazy that day but hey it was vacation so it didn't really matter so we drove around wenatchee kind of like took in all of the quote unquote sites and we were trying to figure out things to do but we couldn't really figure anything out so we decided to go downtown in Wenatchee and go to this ice cream parlor diner place and we had some delicious chicken noodle soup that is some of the best chicken noodle soup I've ever had in my whole life and um some strawberry milkshakes and it was delicious it was wonderful it was awesome and then while we were downtown we popped in and out of a couple shops we went to an antique mall that was huge and then uh, we basically went back to the airbnb we watched the new Mowgli on netflix not sure how i feel about it it's a little dark compared to the other versions that I've seen, but uh, it was all right. It, it was okay. I, it wasn't my favorite, but it was okay. And then the next day, the Sunday, we got out at about 11 to noon, and we went up to Leavenworth to kind of experience it in the daytime and then stay for the actual lighting ceremony. Spoiler alert, the lighting ceremony is not much to write home about honestly it's just a ton of people crowded shoulder to shoulder and they flip on the switch and all the lights come on Woo! that's that's pretty much it they have some a couple choirs singing some uh doing some caroling and some people playing some Bavarian instruments but other than that it wasn't like a huge extravagant event you know it wasn't Disneyland or anything I would personally say if I'm giving advice to anyone going to Leavenworth during the holidays is number one try to go on the weekdays so it's not as packed and they have the lights lit throughout the whole week but they only do the lighting ceremonies on friday saturday and sundays so if you want to see the actual ceremony where they flip the switch on then you have to go during the weekend but in all actuality it's better to go on a weekday we went to leavenworth from about 11 to noon till about 5 30 right after they flipped the lights on we left because we didn't want to try and fight traffic getting out of there because we were hungry and we didn't necessarily want to spend the money to eat in Leavenworth because their prices are a little bit extreme so we decided that we would just stop at like a diner or something on the way back to our Airbnb in Wenatchee and that turned out perfect we went to a diner it was delicious I had just like grilled cheese sandwich and some salad so good but from the whole time that we were in Leavenworth on that Sunday it snowed and it was so beautiful it was just like a constant snowing it didn't stop it was just like coming down and coming down and coming down so it was really neat to experience Leavenworth without the snow the a couple nights before and then be like oh it's a whole different like feeling and emotion and experience when there's actually snow coming down and on the ground and the little carriage that goes through with the snow it's it's all just really really pretty i hate snow i don't like it at all we do get snow where i live but um i don't know what it was but seeing it in a different environment in a it, with different scenery in this little village was like pretty magical it, it was pretty special so I actually liked the snow and I didn't really freeze so that was nice it wasn't too cold it was only about like 33 35 it, it wasn't as cold as I thought it was going to be so that was really good and then that Sunday night, we went back to our Airbnb, binged watched uh, the rest of the new part of The Ranch on Netflix. We love that one also. So we binge watched the rest of that. And then we came home Monday. And that's pretty much it. It was just a nice relaxing little getaway. I didn't want to like face to face vlog too much because you guys know when I go out of town for vacation, I don't want to have to worry about whether or not I'm in focus and all that stuff. But it was very special and I did have a wonderful time and I am back home now and everything is just peachy and I will be doing a full what I got for my birthday haul so you guys can see what Alan got me, what my sister got me, what my friends got me. I still have to go to my P.O. box and pick up a couple packages I think because I want to include those. 
Um, but I do want to thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes. It is crazy that I am yet another year older. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you liked this little chitty chat vlog. I know it wasn't like what was expected of a vlog, but it was more of a story time thing and I'm happy to have another year of sharing my birthday with you guys. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoy this, and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!